Rosie, <laughs> Rosie, where are you going? I'm going home, okay? And I mean Boston. This is too much, okay? I, I clearly walk into the middle of something here. Look, it's all fine, honestly. Sally and I just had to air some stuff. Well, yeah, I'm glad you're fine because I'm not, okay? Look, Alex, come on. We were out together the whole night. And your girlfriend was home expecting a baby and you didn't say anything. Look, nothing happened. We were just, we were just having some fun. Some fun? Just a little bit of fun, yeah? That's what you brought me out here for, just for some fun? I, I wanted to see you. For Christ's sake, you're my best friend. Or maybe you needed someone from your old life to come and point out the truth. What truth? <laughs> you're in a mess, Alex. Look at you. You're, <laughs> this whole situation's one big, giant, shitty mess. Oh, me, I'm in a mess. Yes, and you're in denial. And you're projecting. Okay, can we just stop for a second with the psychobabble bullshit and just talk like normal people, please? Okay, fine. Look, I was worried that you would find it hard, you know, coming here. Hard? I mean, you've had a tough time, Rosie, and seeing where we live, our lifestyle, our apartment, I just... Hold on. You thought I was jealous of you? No, Alex. I pity you. All I see is someone compensating for his crappy personal life by climbing up the career ladder. Crap personal life? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Stable relationship with a beautiful girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Lots in common. Mm -hmm. A great circle of friends. <laughs> I've got a child on the way who's going to have two parents, not just one. Rosie, come on. I, just I forget it. Forget it, Alex. Go ahead. Go ahead. Climb your greasy pole. You know what? I will. Don't come crawling back to me when you realize you're dead inside. No danger of that. Good! Excellent!